Do you think Kamala Harris is a pragmatic capitalist, Andy? No, I don't think she's a capitalist at all. And I don't think she really understands what being a capitalist or someone who believes in free markets actually is. Every plan she has, everything she talks about, is a, is a plan to address the concerns of a group of voters who have been harmed by the economic policies of the Biden-Harris era. It's not to solve the problems created by those economic policies. It's not to create economic growth and to try and drive this economy into something where people can enjoy the American dream again, afford food and groceries, afford to buy that new car because interest rates are down, afford to buy that new house. When we get back to policies that encourage that kind of behavior, more macroeconomic, economy-wide policies, then we'll see some progress. And we will not see that progress with, uh, with Vice President Harris as president. The CDC is reporting an outbreak of E. coli linked to McDonald's quarter pounders. Now, you used to run Carl's Jr., I think, and Hardee's. As, uh, with that experience, and look, the stock has really fallen out of bed here, down nearly 5%. How would you deal with a situation like this? Well, this, of course, is every CEO's uh, worst nightmare. I, I think the best way to handle it is to first, you've got to make consumers understand and believe that your number one concern is their safety and that your food is safe to eat and it, you're going to take every, every, every step you can possibly take to get th their confidence back in that respect. The CEO of Tylenol had a similar problem years ago, you may recall, and he just pulled all the Tylenol off the shelf and put in these, these safety caps inside, and it's always been used as the example of how you deal with a crisis like that. Mm -hmm. And I think the McDonald's CEO is doing something similar. They've taken the quarter pounder, uh, which is a big seller for them, uh, off the menu. They're working with the suppliers to deal with the, uh, the sliced onions that apparently caused this outbreak. So they're doing what they can, but they need to be very vocal about it, make a, a very renewed commitment to safety, and let people know quality uh, and, uh, and safety are, are their major concerns when you're in a McDonald's restaurant. Food seems to be a big part of this political season. Uh, you know, the demands for pure food and all the rest of it. It's, it's the, the foodies are active in this, era, in this election season. Andy Posner, I'm out well, of time. They were going to change McDonald's to Donald's a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, I'm out of time, unfortunately. But Andy Posner, you come back again soon. See us then. Thank you very much. Thanks, Stu.